condition, he that feared him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. Uh -huh. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. Uh -huh. That word, I say, ye know, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. Mm -hmm. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, which the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, uh -huh. for God was with him. Yes. And we are witnesses of all these things which he did, both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. Him God raised up the third day and showed him openly, not to all the people, but unto witnesses chosen before of God, even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he which was ordained of God to be the judge of the quick and the dead. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remissions of sin. Uh -huh. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. See, I believe, I submit to you, I believe that's why sometimes people ain't getting the Holy Ghost. Because we preaching everything else other than Jesus. See, when you preach into a lost and dying world, Jesus has got to be the main message. That's got to be the main message. You can't even tell people to come out of sin without Jesus. You got to preach Jesus first. Then try to get them saved. Then try to get them this and that. No, you got to preach Jesus first. While Peter yet spake these words talking about Christ, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. And they are the circumcision of the Jews were, which believed was astonished. As men as came with Peter. Because that on the Gentiles was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know? For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then Peter did answer Peter, can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized and which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? And here we go. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry a certain day. He commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Commanded. Last scripture comes from the book of Acts chapter 2. I mean Acts chapter 19 verse 1 through 8. And we're done for tonight. But look, if you don't have salvation like this, you ought to get it. Somebody say, I ought to get it. I need to get it. <laughs> you ought to get it like this. Get it like the Bible says. Amen. 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 And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus and found a certain disciple. Here we go. They believed, but they didn't have the Holy Ghost yet. And he said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much of heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Amen. Then said Paul, John fairly baptized with the baptism of repentance, said unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, which is on Christ Jesus. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. And all the men was about what? Twelve. Amen. God, we thank you tonight for the word of God. And I'm encouraging anyone that may hear this on YouTube or if it go on, uh, uh, go on uh, Facebook. We pray that you find a church where they're preaching the word of God, where, you, where demons are being cast out, where lives are being changed, where people who have hands are being laid on people, they're being healed. Find a church where people are living, living holy, living right, and that you need to repent of your sins and actually change. Not just confess a prayer, but actually change, repentance, change, change, change. Not only coming to God with godly sorrow, but to change. Find a church where they preach water baptism in Jesus' name. Amen for the remission of sins, according to Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 8, Acts chapter 10, Acts chapter 19. But Lord, you be blessed until next time. This is Pastor Barry Jones saying, pray for a true salvation. If you don't have it, come and get it. Get it. Go get it. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Until next time. Love you. In Jesus' name.